What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another built STI video. In the last video of this car, we went ahead and installed the FP Black Turbo. We got the hard inlet on, all that is tied up. Before we move on to all of the fuel system stuff that we need to install, let's go ahead and finish up what we started the other day. We need to get the power steering pump back on, some intercooler piping and whatnot, downpipe, fire this thing up, make sure we're good to go with no leaks, and then we can move on and make this car fast. Engine bay is all back together. Let's go ahead, fire it up. Make sure we don't have any leaks. Make sure it actually runs. Hopefully we put it together right and then we can move on to the fuel system. So we have the turbo to make the power we want. We have the engine to make the power that we want. The only thing that we do not have is the fuel system to support the 600 horsepower goal that we have with this car. But that is where this box of goodies comes in. So we have a bunch of stuff from our good friends at Beachworks. This is a bigger fuel regulator. Fuel pump number one, fuel pump number two, Hardwire kit for both pumps. Some 2200 cc injectors. Also have a box from our friends over at Radium. Tile BOV. Tile BOV adapter. And the car already has the Radium dual hanger in it. So it's gonna have two of these 340 LPH pumps from Dietrichworks and the Dietrichworks 2200s. Stock lines from the tank to the rails. And that should be all that we need for this horsepower goal. So the first thing I want to tackle is the fuel injectors. We're going to have to pull off some intercooler piping again real quick. Pull off the injectors that are in here and get them swapped out with the much bigger injector. Everything in the engine bay is wrapped up. We got the DW2200s in, all the flex fuel stuff is done. Everything in the bay is done. New tile BOV is installed. Let's go ahead and jump to the back of the car where we gotta pull the fuel pump hanger 
and go ahead and swap in some pumps. All of the fuel pump plumbing is finished up. Here's a feed, here's a feed, and then both Y in to the factory line. And then we have the crossover and we have the return. So now that all that's done, I started to work on the wiring. This car had a iWire kit in it, which in my opinion is a little overcomplicated. That is everything that came out of it. We are just going to a very, very simple, easy, easy for me and everyone else to understand hard wire kit for both pumps. A lot of tuners would have one of the pumps on a hop switch. Bader does prefer to have both of them just running full time. So that is what we're gonna do. That's how Bobby's car set up and it's been running and working perfectly fine. So that is how we're gonna set up this car as well. All this wiring right here, those are all connections for the top of the pump. We have some grounds and then we have the harness that runs all the way to the front of the car to the battery. I did go ahead and snip off the add a fuse just so we can run that through the boot in the firewall much easier. These things are a bit too bulky to run through. So if you cut these off, it makes life easier. We'll splice those back in when we're ready to fire it up. Being that fuel pump wiring is usually the last thing I always do with a fuel system. It's very easy to cobble it all together. I really took my time and tried to make it right on this car. Ran the wiring through the fender well, through the boot. And as far as I'm concerned, this thing is ready for its first start. We just got our four bar map sensor on. Everything else should be dialed in and ready to go. It's probably not gonna run all that good. But seeing how the map that's on the car is for 1300s and we just put 2200s in it. Let's fire it up and see if she'll run. Make sure we ain't got no fuel leaks. And if it runs well enough, we can take it out and go on a drive. Surprisingly enough, she fired right up first try. No problem whatsoever. I don't see any sort of fuel leaks. So let me uh, bleed out this coolant system real quick and we can go on a drive.
safe to say this old girl's not running too hot. We went from a 1300 to a 2200 injector and then from a stock map sensor to a four bar. So it is what it is. We're gonna get this thing tuned ASAP and hopefully make some sauce. Comment down below what you think this thing's gonna make for power. So if you don't know the quick rundown on this car, so engine wise, completely stock engine with forged pistons, stock rod, stock head bolt, stock cases, stock cam, stock springs, completely stock valve train. So the only thing done to the engine is pistons. And the reason for that is because when I initially built this car, I'd never planned on trying to make anything over like 400, 450 wheel. So it is what it is. Hopefully it lasts on the dyno. And then turbo setup, we have an FP black journal bearing with a three inch inlet. And what else? ETS front mount, ETS intercooler. I mean, ETS intake, BBR hard inlet, stock intake manifold, and then fueling DW2200s, two Walbro, or two DW340 LPHs, both hardwired, and that's about it. Four bar map sensor, comment below. The person that is closest to the wheel horsepower number, we're gonna go off Mustang numbers only today. So Mustang wheel horsepower, I will send out a free t-shirt from this upcoming drop. Have fun.